Hello and welcome to My Security TV. My name's Chris Cubbage and we're at Security 2011 Exhibition and Conference in Sydney. I'm joined by Mr Bruce Blythe from Crisis Management International. Thanks for joining us, Bruce. Pleasure. Bruce, uh, you've now uh, chair of three uh, international companies. Uh, can you explain each one? Uh, they're fascinating and uh, certainly we've got Crisis Management International. Well, uh, uh, crisis management is a continuum and I've got three companies that I have, have either built or bought and uh, basically it, it covers a continuum. Crisis Management Inter International is Atlanta-based in the United States. We do work all over the world. And we work in crisis preparedness, business continuity preparedness. This is the company that helps plan, train, select the teams, do exercises, do the maintenance, make sure a company has the plan in place and they're skilled at that. So we really focus on getting teams and plans ready and maintained. And the, the second business? The second business is Crisis Care Network out of uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's in the northern part of the United States. And they have a network of 6,000 consultants all around the United States, uh, into Canada. We have other uh, specialty networks around the world as well. And basically, uh, we handle about 1,000 crises a month. Every month, we handle approximately 1,000. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. This month is more. And uh, basically, what we do there is everything from crisis counseling, bring in the crisis counselors to help with the public relations uh, piece, uh, to help consult with management. So this is the response side. Crisis management does the planning. This is a response company. And you've recently made another acquisition uh, last year. Can yes. you explain that company? Uh, crisis, uh, yes. The, th this one it covers the third part of crisis, and that has to do with the recovery and getting people back to work. Uh, so many times when a crisis occurs, the people that should be going back to work, the workplace should be coming back together productively, and it's not. What's going on there? And so this is a company, uh, Behavioral Medical Interventions, where we deal with people who may be out on medical leave, who may have psychological reasons, it may be traumatic stress, whatever, but they're not going back to work, or if they do go back to work, it's not productive, or the team is not coming back together like in a new normal, the way we'd want them to after a crisis hits. And this is a company that specializes in return to work, in absence management. And uh, yeah. In Australia, we call that occupational therapy? Yeah, yeah, to some degree, yes, although we do work with insurers uh, who have people out uh, that, that are disabled or uh, on some sort of a compensation because they can't work, and uh, so uh, we help get those people back to work. Uh, um, so it's more than just occupational. We don't do occupational work necessarily. We take a look and say, why is this person not going back? What kind of treatment are they getting? We help manage that care and focus these people toward getting back to work. And across these three uh, companies, do you have any particular client profile or do you find that the ranges from multinationals through to uh, smaller SMEs. Yeah, it, uh, it's any any organization has people seems to be applicable, and uh, it seems that most companies have people. Bruce, yeah. you're a, a qualified clinical psychologist. I am. You've yes. Trained uh, companies throughout the world uh, right. in law enforcement. Uh, it's a pleasure having you back down here to Australia, and we look forward to having you here again. Soon. Uh, I hope to come back soon. Enjoy the rest. Good. Of your take day. care, Chris. Thanks, Good. Take care.